Hi, I'm Scotty Mell. I'm the project engineer. We're on the San Zito uh, Emergency Debris Project. We're uh, <clears throat> discussing the project and also looking at the, the, uh, uh, the progress as we go. There's the uh, pipe that's getting assembled into 1,000 foot lengths. It's a uh, HTPE uh, non-metallic pipe they're going to use to run the effluent to the different placement areas. And, uh, and that will be placed in the river and attached to the dredge, which is being assembled in parts. There's a largest section in the, that has all the uh, pumps and the controls. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> dredge pieces were all trucked out on uh, semis and some were uh, uh, over with pieces that had to be specially transported. They use uh, <clears throat> heavy, heavy duty cranes to uh, lift the, some of the pieces off. The large HTPE slash plastic pipe is fused together using a heavy machine that heats the pipe up to over 400 degrees and then pushes it together so that it welds it and is uh, basically fused together and then uh, the machine pushes it out and then adds another length and then they just keep going until they got at least a thousand foot lengths and then those will be uh, put together with uh, in the river they'll have uh, flanges on them and they'll tie them together as they go until they have enough to go to the placement area. Uh, the, most of the, the line will be sunk, but there will be uh, pontoons and signs every 80 plus feet that says there's something below. And whenever there's anything above ground, there'll be a sign and a light. And so we just have to maintain a good safe distance from uh, anything that's above water. And then it might be a good idea to stay away from uh, the pontoons, even though the pipes uh, submerged. But it's, it's just used common sense, basically. What's unique about this project is the dredges have to be disassembled and assembled on site, which is far different than uh, your regular maintenance dredging, where they can just boat in and uh, stretch the pipe out and uh, start dredging. In the next 10 days, the public should start to see dredging activity. Safety is a big concern for boaters on this project, and uh, it will be ongoing for at least 270 days, and uh, we want to be accident free. This is going to be a complex project, but we're confident we can mitigate the flooding risk, but we can't eliminate it totally.